Luna here. So we need to talk about gatekeeping within the Norse pagan community. I've been seeing a lot of people talking about you have to have Norse blood or Scandinavian blood. If you don't have that blood and you're practicing, you're appropriating or something. And then people also freaking out when somebody connects with Loki or connects with Hell. Or whatever other Norse god that's not one of the big ones. And then they say things like, well, Loki did this and that. Well, have you seen what Odin has done in the Poetic Eddas? Have you read the Poetic Eddas? The other gods aren't completely innocent in our human moral standards. But the thing about gods is they're different. Their morals aren't human morals. And there's a lot of nuance in these myths. In a lot of these myths, the myths we have are all Christian influence. The myth of Ragnarok is very influenced by Christianity. We don't know the original myth. So I want to tell other Norse pagans, and pagans in general, quit this stupid blood relation, you can't touch this god because this god bad because of this arbitrary reason because I'm uncomfortable with it, I'm uncomfortable with change. If you're uncomfortable with change, which that's what Loki is, he is the bringer of the necessary chaos that causes necessary change. Without Loki, we, Thor would not have Molnir. Odin would not have his spear. He would not have Slipnir, his horse. We would not have the goddess Hel. And I know Hel's not like a goddess in the myth, but she's still important as she is caretaker of the dead. We wouldn't have a lot of things if it was not for Loki, okay? So stop gatekeeping. Stop hating on other gods or being scared of other gods because they're dark or whatever the fuck. And let people connect with their gods authentically.